Let's talk about mechanum wheels. Mechanum wheels are unique in that they allow your robot to actually strafe side to side. Instead of just moving forwards and backwards and turning like a tank, you can actually turn the wheels against each other and they'll move the robot to the side. Mechanum wheels do that by incorporating lots of small rollers on the outside of the wheel hub. The rollers are set at a 45 degree angle to the chassis so that if they are in the right orientation to each other and you run them in the correct direction, the force that's exerted by the rollers actually overcomes the force of the wheels pushing against each other and produces a sideways motion. This is really helpful if you have a four wheel chassis and it gets stuck in a position where it actually can't turn, but it still needs to get out. It also helps if you're doing something like imaging or tracking where you don't necessarily want to change the orientation of the robot, but you want to translate the robot around the room. Uh, using mechanum wheels, you can basically move the robot in any direction while it's in any orientation. Last year, we introduced these mechanum wheels from FingerTech Robotics. We liked them a lot at the time. They are an inexpensive alternative to what's usually a very expensive product. They are made almost entirely out of plastic, uh, with the exception of the axles for each of the rollers, which were uh, steel pins. The hub was uh, sort of a zigzag situation that ran down the center of the wheel, and then the hubs would sit on either side of it, and the axle for each of these rollers would sort of go through the hub. That's a nice nice way to build these if you want to save money, but unfortunately it kind of cuts out the center part of the roller which makes a lot of the contact that you want with your surface. So just recently FingerTech has rolled out a new mechanum wheel uh, to replace this one and we like the new one a lot more. The new wheels from FingerTech are actually made out of aluminum. They're stamped in two parts that sit on the outside of the rollers and then the rollers are in between and that actually allows for them to put metal washers in there that sit against the metal frame of the wheel and uh, you don't need to put as much lubrication on these wheels to get them to act the way that you might expect. They're also a lot sturdier because they're made out of aluminum and not out of plastic and the hubs are also made out of aluminum so you can actually tighten down the grub screw in those and get them nice and tight on the axles of your robot without having to worry about stripping out the plastic hub adapter. Here I've built a simple robot to demonstrate how the mechanum wheels work. I've just taken four stepper motors and mounted them into an acrylic chassis and each stepper motor has a mechanum wheel on it. You can do this by putting encoders on your wheels to make sure they all run at the same speed. I decided uh, for the case of expediency that I would just use the brute force method and use stepper motors, which I know will run at a constant speed as long as they don't miss steps. And considering I'm running on a nice smooth surface and I have nice strong steppers, I shouldn't miss any steps. To power this, I actually have a pigtail running out to a computer power supply and one of our quad stepper boards, as well as an Arduino Mega that controls all of the action. Um, I'll be remote controlling this robot using uh, one of our joystick shields, which I've just wired remotely to the Arduino Mega. You can see if I move all the wheels in the same direction, I can actually move the robot forwards and backwards like you would expect. That's because all of the wheels are moving with each other and the rollers don't really come into play. You can also skid steer it like you would a tank. Again, the force of the wheels working together sort of overcomes the small side-to-side -side force of the rollers. But if you move the wheels against each other, then they can't really go anywhere and the rollers come into play at that point and allow it to actually strafe side-to-side. -side. So those are the new mechanum wheels from FingerTech Robotics. Hopefully I've given you an idea of how you might use them in one of your projects. And here are a few tips and tricks just to make sure that they're running the way that they should be. Always make sure that the rollers are well lubricated. If they're pushing up against the side of the hub and not rolling correctly, then you're gonna have trouble moving side to side. Another thing to keep in mind is that you want all of the rollers to make even contact with the ground. 
So you want the weight on your robot to be evenly distributed. And if your robot has suspension, you don't want it to be too soft so that weight is allowed to come up off of the wheels. Otherwise, uh, all of the wheels aren't making contact and that forward and back motion starts to take over from the roller side to side motion and it really screws things up for the way that your robot's gonna move. Um, but if you keep those things in mind and you make sure that you follow those uh, directions and you make sure that they're all oriented correctly on the robot, then you shouldn't have any trouble using mechanism wheels in your robot.